What's going on, you guys? It's been, oh my god, it's been like a month and a half, two months since I recorded this vlog that I'm about to show you. And I have been putting it off because I, I don't know, like, I've just had a lot of fear about it, I guess. I'm really vulnerable in it. And I mean, I, I know I've been vulnerable in other videos, but for some reason, this one, uh, <laughs> it's just really hard for me to, to, to post. So, but I need to get it, I need to get it out there. I need to do it so I can move on. We can start talking about some fun stuff. Anyway, I, it's important to me because I feel like a lot of what we see on social media is this polished, well manicured, well crafted image that people want to put out there. And that's great. I mean, there's a place for that. And that can be inspiring and motivational. Um, and even people post their befores and afters, which is totally awesome because you see where, where a person came from and where they are now. But I think a lot of what we are missing in the social media world, YouTube, Instagram, all of that, is that huge portion of time in between the before and after. I, that's like 99.9% .9 of our lives, if you think about it. The before is literally one moment in time, and so is the after. But there's this whole period of time in between that just gets left out. And that's where the real work is done. That's where the real struggle is. That's where the real commitment and dedication to what we do is. So, I mean, how else can we relate to each other if we don't see that? Um, so, yeah, this is one of my days when I was just literally at my worst. I was so negative, I was being hard on myself, so critical, doubting, just, and you name it, I was feeling it, super vulnerable, um, super emotional, so, um, but I want to put that out there so that hopefully, you know, you can relate to that, get something out of it maybe, I don't know, and then, and then move on to, to, to some good stuff, like, for example, I have a competition in three weeks, so excited about, I've been dieting really hard for that and training really hard. Um, I got a new sponsorship, which is so cool. I'm so excited about that. Um, I want to go through my supplement lineup. A lot of people have been asking about what supplements I take. I'll talk about what I've been taking and why I'm taking it. I would love to start posting some workout videos, show my exercises, what I do, how I do it, stuff like that, and just keep expanding. So good stuff coming. Please, I hope you get something out of this. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, I don't know, get something from it. And please, as always, feel free to comment, give me your feedback, whatever you like. I'm here. Um, so peace. Talk to you soon. What's going on, you guys? Um, so I, I decided to, that, that I need to vlog today. I'm having a rough day. Not gonna lie. Um, and I just think it's important to not only vlog about the happy, good stuff, the insp inspirational talks. Um, and I know like not everybody just talks about the positive stuff. We talk about the struggle and, and, and the difficult times that we can have on our journey, whatever it may be. But I think a lot of people choose to, to do that in, in retrospect talk about the past having gone through a difficult time and not really so much while 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 we're in it and today I'm definitely <laughs> definitely feel like I'm in it uh I don't know man like it just every once in a while I, periodically I have these days where I just like I feel I guess the best way to put it is I feel like completely vulnerable. I got no walls up. I don't have, I don't have the ability to compartmentalize anything that I might be feeling into a little box and keep it secure and just go about my day. Sometimes I just, I'm just like free flowing. <laughs> I have no way of uh, controlling that. And a lot of times, like there's been several times when I go to the gym and that's the trigger that really like opens the door because I feel like when I'm really pushing myself that hard and I'm like destroying myself in the gym, there's something, there's something primal about it and you tap into, you got to tap into something deep in order to be able to draw up the energy and the, the feeling 
to push through a really difficult workout. And I think sometimes as a byproduct of that, that opens that opens the door to everything else that I might be uh, have have pushed down deep. Anyway, um, it's kind of the way I, I live life is I'm always pushing myself. I'm always trying to get myself out of my comfort zone. I never want to be stagnant. I never want to stay the same. I want to constantly change and evolve and become better. So lately, I mean, some of you probably have seen some posts on social media where I'm sort of talking about it. I hint at a few things. I'm really, I'm really forcing myself to be comfortable just I'm, try, I'm trying to teach myself to be comfortable being alone. I've always ever since I was a little kid I've clung to to social groups, to friends, to relationships, to the desire to be in a relationship, to um, dating or, or dating apps constantly consume consuming my time so that I feel like I belong so that I feel like I'm important or that someone gets me um, but I'm trying to let I'm trying especially now to learn to let go of someone that I grew really close to lately and I felt gave me that sense of, of belonging and that sense of uh, um, being understood and making me feel special. Um, that's something that I rarely experience. It's something that I rarely feel. I don't know. I've always felt growing up that, um, I didn't necessarily belong. I don't really belong with most people. I feel like most people just don't get me. Um, and I don't know if it's just in my head. I don't know if it's just something that psychologically I do to myself or if it's a real thing. But I was, I've was i always, always felt just slightly removed. And I don't know what that's about necessarily. Um, but I definitely think it can be a strength. If not now, then it, at some point eventually it probably is on some level already. It, it allows me to think for myself. It allows me to, to act of my own accord. And I think that I need to strengthen that and use that so that I can be someone who's a leader. Because I think that's just the only way that I fit is that if I'm a leader, if I try to be a follower, I'm just going to feel like I don't necessarily belong. Anyway, so really, I have, I'm not, I'm not dating. Um... I'm not on any apps, which I'm I'm not kidding you when I tell you I, I used to if I wasn't in a relationship, I was always faith I'm always faithful in a relationship. I'm a really faithful guy. But outside of a relationship, constantly, constantly checking apps, checking messages, uh trying to connect with people, it's like I I was always like searching for that something to like fill this void. I don't know what that's about. But I'm finally taking the time and I'm, I've got, I got no apps. Uh, my Facebook status says I'm in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I just don't want to be bothered. Um, I'm not dating. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm spending a lot of time with just me doing, working on me and trying to push myself to go after my passions, what the things I care about. Um, and I think the fact that I'm doing that, and this is literally, I shit you not, the first time in my life I'm doing this for myself. The first time, so I think it's just really hard. <laughs> and it amplifies, it amplifies the, those feelings and they come out when I get anxiety. And I, um, you know, sometimes I just, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I just have like intense anxiety and I gotta walk around and talk myself down or like, Last night I just went out for a run. I ran for like three and a half miles. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't go running. I don't like running. I don't run, but I just had to just, you know, like 
turn that energy into something productive and hopefully after at the end of it I'm just so tired that I can just relax <laughs> and go to bed and get some sleep sometimes I can't sleep I get anxious dreams um, stress stress dreams um, so I do a lot of reading as well I read a book called the motivation manifesto and that's fucking awesome I get so much out of that anyway I, and I get now and then I get people who are like you don't need to be alone like you can have someone else special there to like support you and be with you and that person will come and um, I, I, I hear that and I get it and I know I know that's true but I also know in my gut in my heart of hearts right now that's not what I need. This is what I need. I need this. I have to find a way to be okay with this before I can move on and really be in a relationship or really appreciate what that is and not it being from a desperate place where I'm trying to fill some kind of hole or void. So I know, I know that this is the right thing for me. I just know it. And I always follow my gut. When I follow my gut, it always it always leads me to the right place. So this is just my process. I know that this is what I have to do. Um, it's scary and it's hard um, and it's intense sometimes, but I know it's the right thing for me. Uh, plus, also, I think when things are, are hard like this and, and you get emotional and, and you get this catharsis where you gotta cry, I think a lot of that is a signal that you're getting ready to change. You're getting ready to metamorphize into into your next into your next phase of life, your next chapter, into your next evolved state of being, whatever that is. So I look at it as, it, as like growing pains. I think it's a good thing too. And I know I'm gonna be good. I know I'll be all right. I got I got my down days, but I just want to be very open and like forthright about the fact that I have I have those days. You know, um, not necessarily always this intense, but I do get those, I do struggle even when I'm going about my days and I am able to compartmentalize my emotions and keep things in check. It doesn't mean that it's easy. I'm still, I, I still got, I still got to fight. Um, so anyway, I thought that was important to share and I hope you get something out of it too. Peace guys.